Elon Musk suggests Tesla's next Gigafactory could be in Canada. This is the second time Canada has been mentioned as a potential location for the next Gigafactory. This year there will be an official announcement. Speaking at the Cyber Roundup, Musk said Tesla could announce another factory location later this year. When the public asked for suggestions on the site, Musk asked them where Tesla should build it. After the crowd of investors shouted out hints, Musk said Canada was the most heard suggestion. Okay, we've got a lot, got a lot of Canadas. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm, half, I'm half Canadian, so maybe I should, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah. Um. Tesla Cybertruck pricing and specifications will vary, Elon Musk admitted. A lot has changed since the introduction of Cybertruck in 2019, Musk said, so, specifications and pricing will change. Elon Musk made this comment during the company's annual Cyber Roundup on August 4. Specifically, CEO Elon Musk said that the price and specifications of the Cybertruck production model will change compared to what was announced when the truck was unveiled in 2019. This is not surprising considering how much the world has changed since Cybertruck was unveiled. The pandemic, all the lockdowns and now the current inflation. The Cybertruck price can't be lower than $40,000, as Tesla originally announced in 2019. Here's what Elon Musk had to say about Cybertruck pricing, after an investor asked when Tesla would announce pricing of his electric truck, during the question and answer session of the annual shareholders meeting. Cybertruck pricing, it was unveiled in 2019, and the reservation was $99. A lot has changed since then, so the specs and the pricing will be different. I hate to give sort of a little bit of bad news, but I think there's no way to sort of have anticipated quite the inflation that we've seen and the various issues. However, Musk assured the audience that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product and a damn fine machine. Let's listen to him say that. But what I can say is that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product. And it's gonna be like a damn fine machine. So, yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't comment on how the electric pickup truck specs would change from Tesla's 2019 announcements. Finally, Musk reiterated the mid-2023 target for the start of Cybertruck production, and said that manufacturing preparations for the electric pickup truck at Tesla's Gigafactory Texas will start soon. We're going to be installing the production equipment, tooling and all starting in the next couple of months, we'll begin the installation, so we're aiming to be in volume production in the middle of next year. Deliveries of Tesla Model Y to customers begin in Australia and New Zealand. Tesla Model Y reservation holders in Australia started accepting deliveries, just hours after the units arrived in the country. TechAU was among the first to report an alleged first delivery of the Model Y in Canberra on August 4, the reservation holder received a Model Y standard range with a white interior and upgraded 20-inch induction wheels. Other Model Y deliveries then kicked off from August 5th. As of August 4th, the delivery dates for some Sydney bookings were locked. The Model Y is already under delivery in Australia, whether it started on August 4th or 5th. The Tesla Model Y offers the space and storage that many Australian families need, as well as offering great technology, battery life, charging networks and more. Tesla may enter high volume production with its 4680 battery by the end of 2022. Elon Musk said on August 4 during Tesla's Cyber Roundup in Giga Texas, that Tesla could start mass producing 4680 batteries by the end of this year. This was a reply to Jeffrey L who asked on Say.com, when will 4680 output match your original yield and velocity targets? Though it was a tough question, but Elon Musk said he believes Tesla will start mass production by the end of 2022. He also said Tesla has enough battery cells to produce 1.5 million cars this year. We are making a decent number every week and I think we'll be in high volume production by the end of this year. It's always difficult to predict, because a lot of new technology, what's the slope of the S-curve on ramp, and accept that I'm confident that we'll get to the high production rate. But it's probably the end of this year before we confidently get to a high production rate. 
but this does not affect our vehicle output. We actually have enough battery cell supply from suppliers to make one and a half million cars this year. So, it's not a constraint on output but it will be important for next year. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please support us by subscribing to help us grow and also be part of our community here at Jexton Electric Channel as we have a mission to take the charge of fighting against climate change by bringing the future of sustainable energy closer to our viewers and subscribers, showing that electric cars are the best cars in the world. For more news and update on EVs, subscribe to this channel. See you on our next EV news edition.